Hey, Jacob, Iron the Black Dragon's back, and I welcome all of you to thank you. That was the right thing to come right up. Game Dev Tycoon on Monday Madness. I briefly forgot what it was called, but it's Game Dev Tycoon. So in the last episode, we made a lot of shit games, but also one hit game, and it is Underdog. The one that is selling right now. We also have a rather high, uh, big, a rather big group by now, but we can do much better if we just focus our energies. Today I'm feeling much better for recording this, so I should be able to not fuck up. So let's see what, sa what says the news. Ladies and gentlemen, the surprise hit of the year is Underdog by Thingamabob, a true achievement in interactive story. I'm spitting everywhere. Interactive storytelling. The characters and the captiv captivating, captivating, there it is, scenarios just stick in your mind. Well, what can I say? Stop reading, start playing. Arnie Con Conkel Electric Games. Thank you, Arnie Conkel. So, now that we have this game, let's make research. Because we have lots of things and I want to have the stereo sounds. And I wanna have... Oh, I don't have enough. 10 night cycles. Let's do that. And let's see... Uh, contract work? You two can make that happen. Come on. This is a clear trend towards casual games recently. Oh. Casual games? Well, let's make a casual game next. Come on, make that. You can do it. Oh, you both are more design. <sighs> okay. Okay, you two made it. Okay. Let's develop a new game. A medium game for everyone, because this needs to be a casual game, because casual games seem to be trending at the moment. And casual. Casual. As far as I'm concerned, the test is for everyone. So let's make a casual, mm, casual rhythm game because that should be something. And we and we kind of call it Shake Dot. Let's 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 give that one. Shake Dot Butai. Shake Dot Butai. Butai. Let's go. Two uh, D. Yes, because we don't have three D graphics just yet. Go away. So let's see, we need gameplay. There is no story in quest whatsoever. So gameplay is technology, I'd say. No, engine is tech, that is design. What is gameplay? I wanna say gameplay is also design. So let's do this. You concentrate on the engine and story and quest. You make that. You need to be high up gear there. For a casual game, this needs to be the best thing ever happened. We produce bugs like nothing. Media inquired. Hi, this is Curtin Gillen from Gamers. I got word that Thingamabob is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? Agree. So, what is your expect? What is your expectation regarding the success of Shake That Butai? Do you think the game will be well received? Uh, let's be modest. I'm not too sure about it. Thank you for your time. I don't want to hype a uh, casual game too much. Once we make a bomb game, we're gonna hype. And uh, let's get a small booth just to get the hype up cooking. I don't know when. So we don't need AI at all. Um, casual games need level design and dialogue not so much. So level design is that. What is dialogue? Aaron, you make the dialogue. And the AI also goes towards you because you can do that. Let's go. Let's see when the... Game of the market, underdog is gone, but we made 4 million in sales. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. 
We can make research points. We also have a rather good hype for a, a casual game, I'd say. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we need... I think sound is very important for casual games. We can let it stand like this because everybody is exactly at 100. So let's do that. And there it is. Month 6 is the G3. So we should try and make games during that time because that boosts our hype up. The better the game, the more... If we hype the game beforehand, the bigger hype bonus we will get out of the G3. But... We didn't make it under the top 100 booth this year, but we got a good hype out of this. We also have a good amount of bugs in this game. I wonder that nobody found them. Today, Vony has announced their own console called the Play System. Apparently, the company has completely reworked their earlier Play System prototype after an inventor cancelled the project. The new Play System comes with a CD-ROM drive and... 32-bit processor and is wholly owned by Vony. Industry professionals say that this might be the beginning of a new generation of consoles. Nimento declines to comment. The play system will enter the market in two months. Yes, Vony! And sequels! Yes, because there was one game that highly demanded a sequel! We need to find that game again because I forgot what it was called. But there was one game that highly demanded the sequel. Oh, sorry, the bugs, the bugs are all gone. But thanks for boosting those things. New record on technology. Nice! And nobody got a level up. Okay. You... Okay, today the new game platform play system by only has been released. That's nice. Let's make a game report. Before the reviews came in. So let's see, what is this game? It's a casual game, so I'm not... Very good, nice. Come on. Rhythm and casual is a great combination, I knew that, that's why I made it. Casual works, games work, work well with the test. Well, and played it for days, so a super round 8. So you, my friend, go on vacation. And you, research... Oh, sequels would also be good. Um, we need better graphics. Let's make that one happen. And what can you research? You could actually still research... Let's research the sequels. So that we have them for now. And... Perfect. Let's see, what comes out of this? Give me that information. Rhythm and Casual is a great combination. Starring Quest, not important for this type of game. I knew that. Tess and Casual is only good. Super Tess and Everyone is good. And Rhythm and Everyone is also good. I should have made it for younger audience then. Because then I pr I'm pretty sure I would have had two great and one good only. But whatever. Uh, Self-published medium games will be most efficient when we have at least one... 100,000 fans. Nope. Uh, publish. I don't want to make publisher deals. So you guys are all done. Good. Let's develop a small game for a younger audience with our um, <coughs> engine. There it is. For the game link is gonna be a, an adventure game. A medieval adventure game. Yes, because that's a great combination. Uh, sword class. Sword class. I don't know anything better right now. So we're gonna, just gonna call it sword class. 2D graphics. Let's go. It's only going to be a small game, but it's an adventure game, so we need that, we don't need that. And engine can go up a little bit, I think. So we should be fine with that. And also, there's again a little bit of hype with that. So let's see. Adventure games. Need dialogue. And 
Do adventure games need AI? Action games need AI. Adventure games don't need AI. I think that's good. Can we please find out what's important? Because I'm very unsure right now. Wow, the bubbles are amazing. No sound, but adventure needs world design and a little bit of graphics. So let's do that. Go! You only have a small bit of hype, but the bubbles that go around are amazing. Also, the sign went up to 50. I need a better check in my team. It seems that the market has normalized again with no particular strong trends at the moment. That's good because I didn't make another casual game. Let's see. That was the reason why we make check that botai. Butai. Better AI. Perfect. And sword class. Let's see. What is this game? It's great. What else is this game? Tell me. I need to know. Medieval and adventure is a great combination. Thank you. I knew that already. It is very enjoyable. Great, very enjoyable and very good. Thank you. Another great game. Game report. Let's do this. You go on vacation. I shake that booty out. It's off the market. We made 2 million out of that game as well. Thank you. Send on vacation. And in the meantime, you can research the branching stories, please. And once those two came, come back from their vacation, we're gonna make another game engine. A better game engine. I know that we can do it. Graphics seems to be quite important for this type of game. I hope I did that. I think, whoops, but I think I did that. Gaming and adventure is bad. Well, good to know. Gaming and young is great though. And medieval and young is great. So that's okay. At least I'm not completely wasted everything that I had. So, everybody bet, branching stories, let's create a custom game engine with 3D graphics and 2D graphics, linear, branching and simple cutscenes, better user experience, character progression, better dialect, dialect 3, lovely detail, open world, DNA cycle and stereo sound, we don't need mono anymore. So let's, let's call it the holy moly soupy Doopy. Holy moly soupy doopy. Yes, that's the name of the game engine. We we'll have a lot of people working on this game engine. We get nice research points out of this. <coughs> I'm dying over here. Give me a second during this is running. I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. Ah, much better. Sword class is now off the market. Not a million, but it was a good game after all. So nice. Now game engine. Holy moly, super dupe, soupy dupy is now completed. And with this game engine, we're gonna develop a new medium-sized game that is for mature players only. Holy moly, super dupy. If I can, please choose that freaking thing. I don't know why it's acting up like this. For the play system. Yes, I have the money on hand. And it's gonna be an action post-apocalyptic for everyone. When the bombs fall. When the bombs fall. Let's do. And it's gonna be 3D graphics. Let's go. Okay. We make... Branching story and simple cutscenes. We have better user experience and character progression. Things that we need, but we don't need that. But we need, I think action needs game, e the engine and a little bit of gameplay. So the engine is you and gameplay, still don't know what it is, is you and story and quest goes to you. Because you're my designer dude. So let's make this a great A game with my new game engine. It should boost the game. Tremendous knowing that this game... Whoa, that was a giant bubble. We make a uh, dialogue tea and better dialogues. Do we need a level editor? I think... Yes, let's make a level editor. People like making their own levels, so let's do this. My techie, I need you once more. 
Sorry that I overworked you so hard. Level design is you and dialogue. Well, I'm better than you. I need you to be better at something else. I need you to be upgraded in things. I'm gonna make that with you after this game. Dino, where are you? Here you are. You need to be better. Because right now you are the worst one and I don't use you. I also could fire you and just hire a better one. Uh, stereo sounds, open world and day and night cycle. Action games need... I think the sound is most important and then that. I'm gonna do the sound so that you don't overwork yourself too much. And graphics, you... You make the world design. Let's go! We only have a hype of two. In two months, the Wiener gear will be taken off the market. Okay, I can live with that. I never made anything for the Wiener gear. My design is not as uh, bombarded, but my technology is high. Let's take a small booth. And we're gonna delay... Okay, we're gonna delay the game until we have the a convention. Let's decrypt the message. This is a very special offer. Our agents uh, have recently managed to borrow some research information which might be of interest to you. If you're interested, then transfer 550,000 to the enclosed uplink location. We'll contact you, Agent Blowfish. Let's not do this. Thank you, Agent Blowfish, but I don't care, quite honestly. Let's make this game even better, because there are still a lot of bubbles floating around. Come on, it was month 6, so... Month 6, week 2 was it. Come on, there it is. Game convention. When the bombs fall. Come on, hype that bitch up. Come on. Okay, we already have more people than last year. And here we stand. Okay, can live with that. Okay, we didn't make it to, to them, but we have a hype of 40 thanks to that. Oh yeah, new records all around. Level ups everywhere. Nice. To do increase, Jared Morton. Yes, special training available for me. Multiplayer and Easter eggs. Yes, that's nice. Wiener Gear is no longer supported. Let's see what are the reviews. More, please. Yes, I'm gonna remember that, hopefully. Great game. Come on, another nine. Can't wait for the sequel. You will get a sequel for that. Action games work well on the play system. I knew. That's why we made it. Let's generate a game report. Let's research Easter eggs. Let's research multiplayer. Let's uh, fire you. Yes, I'm sorry. But we're gonna file your position. We're gonna spend. So we need um show reel. We need a wait for show reel. I'm gonna go with one million exactly. Start. Because showreel is a person that is all around good. So we spend a little bit more money so that we have another person that is good all around. Okay, not so much. You're terrible at technology, but good at design. Three, seven, three. You know what? I'm gonna take you. You cost a little bit, but you are good. Let's train you. Welcoming to the staff. And another memorable game by Thingamabob has been released. The sound in this game gives you goosebumps. Very well designed. Rarely will a game captivate you as much as when the bombs fall. Gary White, gamers. And what to find? post up game and action is great. AI seems to be very important for this type of game. I hopefully it did so. And game seems to be quite Im gameplay seems to be quite important for this type of game. Well, yes. So, um, you two. Well, let's research better AI. And you uh, research a new topic for me. 
uh, martial arts because why not and we're gonna make one more high spender roll for complex algorithms so that we have another good tech in the team and the market seems to respond particularly well to games with new topics at the moment martial arts then it is so let's find us a new partner and then we're gonna leave this episode no, not worth. Bit better. Bit better. Yes! Timothy Wood, come pl please come down. So you get your training very fast. In the meantime, you can train on research. Go. I'm giving you all trainings. You are a techie, so... Let's do that. You are uh, a designer, so let's design. And you are um, also a designer, so let's design. So I'm gonna um, let them make their training very fast. And in the meantime, I'm gonna say, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I mean, it was all over the place again, but... We did good this time. I did not fuck up as high, much as I did last episode. And to be totally honest, I didn't fuck up at all. This was a great run. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, please leave a comment down below. I really would appreciate that. It's now off the market. We made 3 million of the game. Nice. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment down below. I really would appreciate that. And hope to see all of you to the next part of Monday Madness's Game Dev Tycoon. So bye.